All right. So in the first uh, particular segment of this module, we discuss what energy is and we have some, not a complete, but some idea. So now what I want to do is I want to look at the total energy of a system because I, as I, uh, in the thermodynamics, we'll care about this a ton. Okay. And I, I mentioned this, this is the characteristics of a system, right? Or it's called a property, right? This is the total energy is going to be abbreviated by capital E, okay? And if I look at the units of it, this is going to be joule, right? Or newton meters. Um, but if I use the British gravitational, so I'm going to use BTU, British thermal units. Or pan force is also a unit of it, but we typically use BTU in the thermodynamics, okay? Um, so I also talk about this part two, specific total energy or simply we kind of uh, don't mention total anymore. Sometimes we call specific energy. I'm not sure it's exactly uh, the right thing to do, but well, let's present it this, okay? So this is going to be lower case, okay? Doesn't, uh, you know, we talked about this. Please refer to that video if you're not uh, quite clear where it's coming from. Doesn't come as a surprise to you that this is going to be joule per kilogram or BTU per pound mass, right? That will be the units of the specific energy. Um, okay, um, now I want to um, actually, uh, oh, this is not nice because I'm, I have a, a, you know, a page that is not going to be nice, but uh, well, it's going to be okay. So I'm going to separate the total energy into two. One is going to be the, let's say the microscopic, microscopic point of view, right? And we do macroscopic point of view. So the total energy, I'll separate into two separate uh, scales. Let's put it that way. Okay. This is like the grand scale. If I look at the macroscopic, and the macroscopic energy, I don't want to go too far into this because this is a physics-based thermodynamics, more engineering application. But um, this is much more useful to me. Okay. Um, so I can convert this to some other forms I can use, etc. But anyways, the point I'm making over here is I'll give you some examples of the microscopic energy that we're going to use, well, every day, okay? So the first one will be the kinetic energy. The second one will be the potential energy. And I'm just writing this with something called simple compressible systems, okay? I, dis I defined this in module one. So I'm not dealing with the magnetic force. If in the future you need to refer to what, which is fine. You just go another, you know, this is another plus the magnetic, not a huge deal. Okay? But we typically, we don't really deal with it. And this, uh, you know, let's actually go out and write this. This is the uh, 1 over 2 mv squared. If I'm using the capital E, which is a total energy, which I'm separating, you can see over here. So I'm discussing the total energy. So this is going to be that. And, um, you know, I just mentioned in the previous module, this is going to be mgz. Not a big deal. If I ask the specific energy, well, get rid of the mass over here, get rid of the mass over here, bam, you're in business. Okay? So this part is kind of, uh, you know, uh, obvious, but let's talk about the microscopic view. This is a little bit off, okay? You're not that used to it and you don't want to really uh, hear about it. I know that, okay? But it is what it is. We have to deal with it. Well, I'll give you something. I don't have to explain what a microscopic point of view is because you know what I'm talking about. You know, we have something called microscopes, right? It just simply means that I'm looking at a small scale, very, very small. So I can uh, pause your question over here. So for us to get going, Okay, let's say that I have a cube. Wow, that's not a too, too bad of a drawing. I, I like uh, how I draw, but anyways. Uh, so let's say that this is one inch, you know, this is one inch and into the page is one inch two. And for our friends, uh, international SI, so um, this is like 2.54 uh, centimeters or 25.4 millimeters, okay? So my question is how many atoms do I have in this particular volume, right? So, and obviously, I don't know exactly, but I can give you an estimate. So it's going to be 10 to the power of 20. Not that small, right? That we can all agree with. This number is very large. This is the number of atoms. And this obviously, you know, when I look at this particular uh, energy types, I'm kind of like ignoring the interaction between these atoms or molecules that I have. Okay. So I have to look at what is the energy that is possessed by this individual, every single atom or molecule, all right? So that is an energy component there. And sometimes that energy component is not that small, especially if my temperature is high. We'll talk about this, okay? Um, but what is very, very important point I wanna make over here is I'm not gonna go and explain 
each and every component of uh, microscopic. We have latent energy, we have sensible energy, etc. But that's beyond the scope of uh, what I want you to learn in this course. But sum of all microscopic energy is called capital U. And this is the internal energy. So very, very important. If I go back over here, I write capital U. And if I want to, uh, if you want to know what capital U is, it is n times lowercase u. Okay. And right now, right now, I want to highlight something so we do not get into this, um, you know, uh, confusion. I said in the previous segment that you know students confuse the volume and the specific volume right i did this uh, you know uh, you know i i did this this might was my volume and this was my specific volume so i don't think i will confuse those two but who knows maybe i will right but you see what i'm doing over here unfortunately the letter u in our alphabet is also similar in a sense that this capital u and lowercase u is similar okay so i want you to differentiate them you can see how i write my capital u it's kind of like it's, it's obvious it's capital and you can see i have a tail over here okay what is verse which i absolutely don't want to see in the exam is sometimes even students confuse u and v because you know think about like let's say a student writes you like this oh, I, I put the tail i shouldn't like that you know so i'm used to it you can see i immediately put v but what about this <laughs> this is v this is u for some students, I mean, this is fairly close. Be careful, don't expect a lot of points in the exam if you confuse, if student doesn't know the difference between internal energy and specific volume. Sometimes when I grade the exams, I simply just put a zero and move on to the next question, okay? So, you know, I wanna be on the same page as you. So again, I don't know what you do, but I differentiate those two right off the bat. Okay, so then let's go back over here. So actually I said back, but I went forward. So let's look at the total energy. I said this is the capital E. You can see over I just talked about the kinetic and potential energy plus this microscopic component called the internal energy. Okay, let me go ahead and write it. Energy, which is the total energy, will be 1 over 2 mv squared plus mgz plus the capital U. Okay, so that is, you see, like now capital U may look like a V, but I'm not confused because in my volume, I have, uh, you know, a, a, a right in the middle here, so I'm okay, right? Um, so, okay, not a biggie, this is fine. And we will use this, uh, what I'm looking over here, in fluid mechanics as well, a lot. So, you know, I want you to be realized uh, this one. Uh, but I also talked about something called the specific energy. So I get rid of the uh, masses and I get myself this, right? And the lowercase u now. Okay, and this is a specific internal energy. Let's write it so specific internal energy. I don't think I uh, had a chance to write it before, so it will be a good to uh, know this. Okay, so these two is absolutely crucial for you to know. You will be using this, I don't know, every single class that we'll have from today till the end of the semester. Okay. I think I'm going to stop over here because these are important concepts. I want you to not dilute the message over here. Okay. I'll see you in the next segment. Thank you.